all right my friends so welcome again to my channel tech world um, today I'm bringing you part four of my uh, vlogging experience through Washington DC and we are in a neighborhood called Georgetown and uh, th right now you're looking at the Four Seasons Hotel in Georgetown this is more of an affluent uh, neighborhood uh, you'll find a lot of um, boutique stores it's a very younger uh, vibes to it a younger population and you'll find a lot of um, I guess mid-century building with some modern stores um, around it and some very unique stores you'll you'll notice when you uh, when I walk around and you see these stores um, younger population you find a lot of people will be here running and uh, exercising and just um, enjoying the, um, the roots uh, so I just want to bring you guys to this. This is the beginning of the um, Josh Tong neighborhood Also, this is a very expensive neighborhood um, Typical two-bedroom uh, apartments in a range of um, five to six thousand uh, dollars You're paying for the proximity to Washington DC and also you'll find a lot of um, more affluent um, Taste in this neighborhood. Uh, there is also a lot of um, people here that uh, typically work in the White House that uh, would occupy residence in Georgetown. Um, I believe um, the former President Obama as well as Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and a lot of people in um, government offices, former and current, they have um, private residence down in this neighborhood, Georgetown. So we're going to walk through um, and you guys can see uh, a little bit of this neighborhood uh, definitely a, a different um, place to visit in George in Washington DC So as you guys can see here, it's very colorful right now in the summer. You have all these beautiful um, cherry blossoms on the trees um, And this is uh, I want to say this is a very youthful neighborhood Georgetown in Washington DC um, This neighborhood has a lot of uh, unique I guess uh, modern uh, feeling uh, even the sidewalks are very modern. They're all powered by solar technology a lot of bikes um, and spacious uh, riding lanes. This is the overpass And you guys can see on the overpass um, It's quite nice in terms of the structure and design um, And then we're just gonna walk down this sidewalk here we're gonna pop, we're gonna walk across. We'll see the Four Seasons iconic hotel. So if you're coming to DC, that will be a nice place to stay if you want to experience Georgetown. Um, and then we're gonna walk down, and I'll take you guys to the iconic uh, Georgetown cupcakes. I'm sure you guys have seen that story on Shark Tank, um, and we'll see that uh, cupcake storefront. Lots of great uh, stores around here for you guys to experience, but definitely. Um, Let's enjoy this ride down uh, Georgetown in District of Columbia, Washington. And um, hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And if you guys are new to the channel, please check out my previous videos um, on part one, part two, and part three of um, Washington, D.C. So before I take you guys to the storefront, um, the, my wife and I, we found this really nice um, trail that was kind of unplanned. We didn't know about this there, but we were walking around and we found this trail. It's called, um, it's right in front here. It's basically the Georgetown Trail. Um, and it does have some really um, unique qualities to it. So I, are we, what we're we going to do, we're going to start by walking through this trail. Um, and then I promise you guys I'll take you to the storefront. You'll find the unique stores, but this trail looks very nice very peaceful um, To walk So yeah, let's uh, let's walk through here and see what we discover. There's a nice little pond here um, Actually a river stream. So if you're interested in fishing, uh, it doesn't look like it does look like you can fish here So that'll be a nice fun activity uh, But definitely a nice exercise routine uh, this city here, Georgetown, um, it's very popular with um, trail, well, I guess trails and um, places where you can run and exercise early in the morning. Uh, so definitely, uh, I would encourage you guys, if you if you want to stay away from the busy uh, Washington, D.C. Um, experience, you want a little bit more of a private experience, uh, this trail would be a nice trail to 
to, to experience but if you stay at the Four Seasons Hotel it's, it's actually right behind the Four Seasons Hotel in Georgetown so um, stay tuned I'm gonna bring you guys some more interesting uh, parts to the um, experience here uh, like I said please like subscribe and check out my previous video uh, on my first video I give you guys a tour of the um, museum the African American Museum uh, my second video um, took you guys down to the um, uh, one of the money one, one of the highly recommended monuments uh, third video I took you guys to the Martin Luther uh, monuments uh, so this here I thought I'd bring you guys more of um, a variety and this is more on shopping and a cultural experience and you'll find that in the iconic George Tong in uh, Washington DC all right so we're on the trail um, just going down the sidewalk here for um, George Tong and um, just uh, looking around you see a lot of restaurants a lot of unique business um, just I just walked past a antique store which is quite interesting to find um, there's some new stores are building up here but um, I'm gonna keep walking uh, right now we're at M and 29th Street um, and we'll see what we find um, I know if you guys like shopping uh, there's a ton of really uh, unique stores um, right over there we have the Who Shoes uh, stores that you wouldn't find anywhere else in the world these are like mom and pop sh stores where they're manufacturing their own product right in the store and typically online distribution but um, pretty unique experience over there we find a paper source which is like uh, crafted um, art using paper and from the outside you can see it's popular for wedding decoration birthday parties uh, you can they use paper they make roses flowers all different design with the paper uh, let's keep walking uh, we're gonna go past the Thomas Jefferson Street not west on M Street and for a lot of you folks who are not familiar with um, Washington DC Washington DC is uh, it's, it's actually the shape of a diamond and uh, you'll find a lot of the streets are called uh, named by letters in the alphabet so it'll be like M, M Street L Street P Street um, and those ones I believe run diagonal and the ones that run parallel are called numbers so it goes one 4th Street, 2nd Street, 14th Street, 13th Street, they all get structured by numbers. Um, so that's kind of how the naming um, culture is formed in the Washington DC. Uh, you also find all major roads that are pointed towards the White House is named after a state. So you'll find California Avenue, New York Avenue, as long as they're pointing towards the White House, uh, they are uh, typically named after a state. So over here we have the Potomac River Keep Network. Um, and you can see more and more store Rag and Bone, which is an iconic um, store they only find here in Georgetown. Uh, we keep walking. There's not a lot of people out right now because it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, but you see more and more of these unique stores. Over there we have the State Liberty, which is a clothing store. Um, some of the stores like Michael Kors being boarded up due to the protests that happened. A lot of um, people looted the store. So right now they're boarded up. Um, and over there we have the Urban Outfitter, which is a flagship store in Georgetown. Uh, they just uh, removed the, board, the boarded um, walls, spray glass. So they're getting back into a reopening phase. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see on this side of the walk where we have all this other unique um, clothing store, makeup store, um, there's a Spanish tapas, uh, if you're interested in Spanish food, um, pretty nice outdoor experience, Hagen das um, store right over here, so if you're into ice cream, especially on a hot day like this, it's a nice place to stop by and grab a nice ice cream Irish pub for all you drinkers out there 
nice place to come and get a cold one. Um, and you can see, you guys can see, there's actually more stores that are opening up. Um, so that is a uh, bakery that's opening up over there. But one one thing you'll notice in Georgetown is a lot of the uh, a lot of the buildings are very uh, they have this mid-century look to it. So there's not a lot of like modern design on it, but it's the mid-century looks, and then they could board into storefronts just to protect the historical nature of um, this city. And it, it is an iconic city. Um, this street here, M Street, is mainly a shopping um, plaza, your shopping strip. And behind these here, you'll find these really lavish um, homes and condos and um, apartment buildings. Some more stores here. All right, we have a stoplight. All right, so over there we have the Billy Reed uh, store, which is a designer store. We have the Calvin Klein, Pandora. Um, I also passed a Fabletic store. Um, so for a lot of the women that subscribe to the channel, a uh, nice place to come and find um, the Fabletic wear or the active wear. Um, Ruby Parker is an iconic um, store that started out here in Washington, um, in Georgetown basically um, and they are a custom um, glass store so they make um, these elegant beautiful um, uh, glasses that you wear with nice frames flexible frames basically uh, that you can um, you can get and they have a lot of ads on YouTube and on the TV um, but that is a that is the flagship store as you walk down uh, this all way here you'll find Aldo, Aldo has a store, Sephora has the uh, flagship store in Georgetown, which is um, obviously a popular um, makeup company. Um, so if you get, if you, if you ladies that's on the, this channel here, um, this would be a pretty uh, fantastic place to come and check out the Sephora flagship store. So we walk, at the, walk down, we find Sun, Glass Hot, Chipotle Roots, um, like I said, this will go down um, like for a mile or two and it's all storefront iconic stores that you can come and shop. So uh, if you're um, here for a conference, um, spare a day for shopping down the M Street in Georgetown. You'll find a lot of good stuff. Also we have the uh, Lululemon store over there. It's currently um, closed. But um, that is also another iconic store to come and do your shopping. And then Lucky Brands is also a popular store. And all around you'll find these uh, lavish sidewalks where you can come and do running and exercise. Fresh air. Some more stores are bringing you guys there. So Club Monaco, Good Stuff Eatery. Uh, there's a tattoo parlor over there. Over here we have the Georgetown Allure Medical Spa. Um, hey. Intermix. Lots and lots of stores. So um, definitely, I can't say this enough. How many um, of these stores here you guys will enjoy if you're in DC traveling here for a conference come and experience Georgetown uh, it is going to be a tremendous um, experience with all the stores that you can come and do a shopping as well as enjoy a nice outdoor uh, vibes in DC like I said DC uh, can get a little political uh, but that's if you're in the part of DC where it's um, more towards the White House Washington but over here we have Georgetown cupcakes and um, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna check out some of the cupcakes so you guys can um, tell me what you think. It is one of my favorite uh, place to be. So um, I came all the way here just because I wanted to visit this cupcake uh, store. So I'm gonna go check it out and uh, we'll see. Ooh, so we're heading towards Georgetown Cupcake. So excited, it's one of my, um, definitely one of my favorite places to come visit. Um, so I'm gonna go and check it out. From the outside, you guys can see all these 
beautiful uh, cupcakes that are decorated and presented for you to take a look at. Oh, that looks so delicious. Um, all different designs and style of cupcakes. Um, so let's go see. There you go, Georgetown cupcakes. So basically right now because of COVID they are doing online orders. Um, I don't know if I could get in, but uh, if I can, I will try to get in. So that is the store. I think they do a lot of deliveries. Another real uh, common store here that I think a lot of you will like is the Rent a Runway store. This is also a flagship store for Rent a Runway. Um, I think it's mostly online based, but if you're having a special occasion um, and you don't have, you didn't pack the right um, dress or the right um, clothing, you can log on to Rent a Runway, and you guys can um, order one of their outfit, and they'll have it shipped to your to wherever you are. And that way you can have the nice fancy clothes to go to that special occasion rather than go out and buy an outfit and have to deal with trying on the outfit and all that stuff. You can just log on to Rent a Runway and pick up your favorite outfit. So my friends, we're down to the end of the um, strip here of shopping stores on M Street. We're going to walk down the GW Parkway and you guys can see the, um, the bridge uh, that takes you over to Virginia. Uh, so that's um, that's the end of all the storefronts that we have here So come check it out You'll find um, lots of really unique stores and uh, I showed you guys a little snapshot of some of the stores But there's so much more um, uh, That you can check out so quite a fantastic uh, neighborhood a great place to stay and experience shopping All right, so I'm going over to the GW Parkway, which is a bridge that takes you over to the Virginia area um, on this bridge here you find a lot of people walking, um, biking, uh, pretty nice bridge actually, nice scenery and also a nice place to continue to run and also just a nice place to just walk and experience nature around you um, and that's one thing about DC is that there's so much culture and nature that is around you that you can completely enjoy. So let's walk down this bridge here and see what we find. This is my first time here and um, just walking here you can see a lot of people uh, biking, walking and over here you see the overpass. Very interesting, very nice, very scenic. And over there you have these uh, small little islands. I'll see if I can get them on my way back. I go on the other side of the bridge to see the scenery. But there you have like little boats um, that takes you around the um, island here. Uh, most people actually who have private boats, they can go over to Virginia. Um, if they're close to the waterfront, the harbor front, they could travel by boat through the Virginia to save uh, time on traffic. And over here you see all the this is the waterfront or the harbor front and you can see the little boats the iconic George Washington Tower in the backdrop um, and some more of the boats traveling on the Potomac River and the Potomac River pretty much surrounds the um, the District of Columbia and over there you see all the buildings is that are um, on the banks of the Potomac River in Georgetown so this entire walk piece there that I took you guys through that is called Georgetown in District of Columbia. There's some friendly folks walking by. It's always nice. And then a lot of people here just walking by, uh, enjoying the summer, getting some um, fresh air, taking in the last bit of uh, scenery while maintaining social distance. Um, and I want to show you guys some fun activities you can do here in uh, Georgetown. So right over here, you have couples that are renting these um, kayaks and you can kayak or paddle boat uh, on the Potomac River so you see a lot of those um, around a lot of physical activity unique ways to enjoy uh, Georgetown let's keep walking let's see what we see 
So we're midway through the bridge and you guys can see it's not too crowded um, but definitely an enjoyable experience. I love it. Uh, there you go guys, uh, you can see uh, we're in the middle of the bridge right now uh, We have folks there that's on their boat uh, Taking a morning ride on the Potomac And then you have other folks there that are just on the paddle boat just Paddling on around the Potomac River So, I mean I can't say this enough It is such a beautiful, iconic place That I, I, I think a lot of you will just enjoy it um, And maybe, maybe I would encourage you guys Wherever you live, uh, where, wherever you are currently residing, spend some time exploring that neighborhood. Um, spend some time experiencing the culture and the various um, sites around you. Uh, because we only live once. And um, in life, the, the only thing that we will always cherish is memories. Memories that uh, we hold on forever. It's sometimes intangible. It's sometimes live within us but those memories are stories that we can share and uh, share on to different generations so spend some time going out experiencing where you live um, people around you uh, that way you can engage and be active um, i know one of my um, mission this year is to experience where i live and i say that with uh, with a meaning not just go to work come home but experience in terms of visiting specific areas visiting any anywhere it might not be attractive to the eyes but just visiting and experiencing it um, so that way I could uh, have that as a memory rather than just um, walking through and not enjoying the moment live life in the moment because those are what lasts forever so that is my little bit of lecture um, but I definitely will urge you guys to just go out and experience where you live. You'll always be amazed at what you find. So we're coming down to the end of the bridge here. And this is uh, taking us over to Virginia. Um, and you guys can start seeing the um, high rise here in Virginia. You have the Marriott building over there, the Lloyd building, all these big uh, head office building here, the MGM building, the RCA building. Um, these are where the jobs are. So, um, you know, the, the thing about this community here is there's definitely jobs, there are big companies here. Um, it's attractive to many companies to come and have organization in our head office in DC just because of access and, you know, easy to lobby different political organizations. So that's why you'll find all these different high rise and then a mixture of the apartment buildings and condos where people can stay all right so let's keep walking down to the end and then next i want to take you guys down to the edge of the harbor um so the waterfront right now i'm on a high bridge um so that i get off i'll go to the waterfront So my friends, uh, we've crossed the George Washington Parkway and we're in Virginia. Uh, there's the uh, Welcome to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. That's the iconic entrance into Virginia. And um, I'm going to head back over the bridge to DC um, through the uh, Key Bridge. 
or the George Washington Parkway and on that bridge is where you get over to M Street and then we'll pretty much do the same route where we came on the other side of the road so tell me guys what you think in the comment below uh, please like share subscribe um, to the video this is my fourth video um, giving you guys a tour of Washington DC or District of Columbia in the neighborhood here of Georgetown uh, for all the Guyanese uh, folks here Georgetown I know is the capital of Guyana uh, Georgetown in District of Columbia is just a neighborhood um, in the District of Columbia as you guys know District of Columbia is just a district it's not a state uh, although many people will advocate for it to be a state it's just a district and it's the capital of a lot of the of the United States but also it's the headquarters of all the major buildings in the um, in the world basically so you'll find United Nations headquarter has a building here um, I know there's also one in New York but there's also one here um, WHO has a headquarter here the um, Red Cross pretty much all major companies have a building or a headquarter based here in um, District of Columbia so I'm on the other side of the bridge heading back over to DC and I just want to give you guys the view on this side here you'll find uh, various like ships small yachts uh, where folks are who have the, the wealthy or the affluent people who can afford it they have their various um, boats on a day like this here you can fire that boat up and take it on the Potomac River to um, experience a nice day on this river on this side here I guess there's not a lot of people so it's more quieter uh, less crowded um, but uh, yeah I mean it, I would recommend walking uh, a lot of people are taking these bikes uh, but I guess you just lose the experience if you start biking walking gives you a nice um, nice challenge because you get the exercise but also a nice way to just be a peace or being one with the environment um, it's very disgraceful to see that people would litter like this here I mean I'm walking here and it just it's just so sad that people will drop their garbage and litter in just a bad taste to the environment and, and I, you guys know I'm a big um, on the environment so it's really sad to see that people are leaving their garbage on the bridge here someone's got to clean it and please guys if you go anywhere please pick up your garbage put it in the rightful um, bins um, make sure if it's recycled it goes in a recycle bin if it's garbage it goes into the garbage bin there we have someone that is um, on a unique boat it's basically a paddle boat with an attachment to keep him stabilized on the water there and then you have other paddle boats and other um, kayak boats that are um, on this Potomac River it's really nice um, I think the uh, wharf there is open so you can actually rent one of the paddle boats uh, to take it on the river and that's where you would rent it right off M Street so on this side here you can see all these beautiful buildings um, that are developed around the um, DC so right over there you'll see Washington DC on the other side there you'll see Virginia so really not much of a separation between the two other than a bridge uh, that's where you find a lot of folks who work in Washington DC either live in Maryland or Virginia just because sometimes it's cheaper or a lot of times it's cheaper to live in Virginia and work in DC because DC is super expensive cost of living is high I think it's actually one of the highest cost of living um, places in um, the United States uh, second to either second to San Francisco but DC is right up there uh, so that is my little take on living in DC uh, we actually live in Maryland which, uh, which, is, uh, which is on the northern part of DC um, Virginia is on the southern part of DC so in Maryland we live there it's about 10 minutes um, or 10 miles into DC and that is basically how you would choose if you're if you're taking up a job in DC uh, if you can afford it to rent an apartment in DC then power to you but if you're looking for something 
a little more economical. You don't want to spend your whole salary on rent. Um, looking to stay in at Maryland or DC. The metro service is reliable. Probably the better metro service in the United States. Um, most people just take the metro into DC and then you get off. There's lots of stops in DC where you can get off where you need closest to your work. But um, also driving is an option. The only challenge with driving is parking in DC is very expensive. So if you are taking up a job in DC, make sure as part of your contract, you negotiate parking um, because um, that is a mistake I made earlier when I took my job in DC where I didn't really think about parking, but then I realized, you know, I need to talk to my boss about covering the parking uh, rates monthly because you end up paying about $25 a day for parking. Um, so, you know, that's money that's coming out of your salary. So it's better to get it uh, deducted from your job. So that is my, I guess, uh, employment tip. Make sure you negotiate parking if you are taking up a job here in DC because parking will cost a lot of money. So I'm going down to the uh, waterfront um, and just want to take you guys over here. You'll find this little bridge that takes you over to this canal here, they call it. Um, quite, I um, must say, it's not very uh, clean. A lot of trees and bushes in growing in the canal. I'm, I think this is supposed to be drainage, but uh, hey, um, that's how it is. That's the culture. That's what the environment is. Um, and uh, on this bridge here, there's some condos over here, but that's where we're going. We're going towards the edge of the waterfront. Uh, but you guys can see these stairs and these walkways, sidewalks, they're just tremendously wide. Uh, so you can actually come here. I see some people up ahead there that has um, set up like stands, a nice place to come and do a barbecue or even camp. And there's the trail that continues. The one that we started the video with the trail goes all the way down to virginia it's so quite interesting so if you uh see here you have these houses overlooking the canal pretty nice view as we walk down towards the waterfront here 
so my friends uh, we're coming to the end of the video here but I always give you guys uh, on my vlogging experience a nice quiet place to come and sit back and relax after all the sightseeing and the shopping um, that's the bridge that we were on earlier so you guys can see how long that bridge is pretty long walk and that's probably the reason why a lot of people are bi biking or cycling on the bridge because it is a good exercise and there we have the folks um, this is a closer view this is called the waterfront um, or the harbor front and this is a closer view where you see a lot of folks that are on the kayak um, and also paddling paddle boats um, where you would rent the boat I want to show you guys if you come over here um, there's the place where you would go and rent the boats that you can take over to Potomac River and um, it's a nice group fun activity um, so if you have friends and you guys are looking for some things to do uh, this will be a really cool thing to do uh, you go over there and you can rent the little kayak boats you guys can see a lot of people are currently on that those boats so you see a whole uh, bunch of people coming from the far end that's on these boats uh, something you can do as a group something you can do as a single person um, just a lot of fun activity and there you have some um, folks there friends probably um, on the boat nice fun thing to do on a Saturday morning even a Sunday morning you get your rowing exercise done as well as a close uh, mother nature feeling and this is what the waterfront view looks like uh, like I said I, I'm just completely amazed in this city here Georgetown in District of Columbia how um, the sidewalks are designed they are designed for people to come here and cycle uh, folks to come here and sit and just look out get some fresh air um, they have seating areas very clean the um, plants are well maintained and just a, a very clean uh, pure atmosphere uh, to come and relax so that's how you can plan your day uh, if you're crunch your time and you're looking to get all the things accomplished I would encourage you to come to the waterfront towards the end of the trip um, and just come and sit down grab a snack maybe a Starbucks um, and get something to eat while you're enjoying the beauty around you and it is very beautiful around us so there you can see so if you guys like the video please hit the like button um, subscribe and share share the video so more people can see and more people can um, especially your friends if you <clears throat> if you guys haven't gone anywhere this summer next year you're planning to visit an iconic city uh, share it with your friends so that they can look at it and they can um, you guys can plan to come around uh, to Washington DC and I've shown you guys so many things you can see and do while here in DC so share the videos to your friends subscribe um, and um, please um, leave a comment below uh, let me know what you guys think uh, I hope to see you here uh, if you are here give me a shout if you visited here bef before let me know in the comment where is another place you would recommend to go I've shown you guys in the five uh, series that I'm putting out of Washington DC all the major places that uh, I enjoy but there's obviously places that um, you guys who have visited here enjoy also and if you want me to bring that I can bring that content to you but um, I think overall vlogging DC is quite um, easy and amazing um, the culture here is very accepting um, so please uh, check out the video share it to your friends and subscribe.